Hey everybody, today is a very exciting day at Nightjar Guitars. I'm gonna be starting the early steps of turning this beautiful piece of Hackberry into an electric guitar for a custom build. This piece comes from Chicago. Frederick Olmsted planted it for the 1893 Chicago World's Fair. It's rough sawn right now and I need to flatten it because I wanna keep it as a slab, but it's too thick and it has a bit of a a cup to it so need to flatten it and I'm really really psyched to see what uh, the grain is revealed after I flatten it so what I'm gonna use right now is my handy dandy router sled jig to flatten the piece so here we go okay so those of you unfamiliar with what a router sled jig is here it is, and I'll show you how it works. So I've got my work piece right here, that's the Hackberry, and it's level and secured to my workbench. And then I have two rails on either side that lift up this sled, and my router slides across it, flattening down the work piece, because there's a channel in there, and as I slide it back and forth, the flat bit that I've got, the mortise bit, just flattens it out. Now. With any new project, there's always snafus, and I ran into one. Got two size of rails, and the workpiece was too tall for my short rails and too short for my tall rails. So I had to do a little bit of human ingenuity, and I have some cedar shims from a recent build, and so I just put those on my short rails, and now it's perfect to run right across, back and forth. Let's rock and roll. Okay, I have finished uh, the top side of the Hackberry, and I'm really, 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 really happy with how it came out. That's <laughs> beautiful. It's got some amazing grain circling here in the middle. That's gonna be a feature on the front of the guitar, I'm thinking, but we'll see what the back looks like. So now I need to flip this over now that this is flat and do the same on the other side, just to get you know my parallel sides. Uh, again, this piece is too big for my planer. I wanted to keep it as a slab. So basically, you know, this is a glorified uh, hand-built CNC machine, basically, that gets it flat. But boy, oh boy, I'm so happy with how this turned out. It's just absolutely flat. <laughs> and as you can see, it is absolutely a mess, and that's why I'm doing it outside. So our primary mission at Nightjar is to use resources and materials that are reclaimed and that tell stories. And as I was planing this down, this piece of Hackberry from the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago, I was just, not to get too sentimental, but I was just thinking about its history. And I do that with most of the pieces of wood that I work with because they have histories and they tell stories. You know, how many people's found shelter in a storm under its branches, how many people uh, sat under it uh, and enjoyed its canopy. Um, and here it is now in Minneapolis, getting ready to be made into an instrument. And I'm so grateful and honored that I'm able to work with wood like this and to make it into a musical instrument that will continue to tell stories in music. Uh, it's just so fun every time I get to work with a piece of wood especially a special piece of wood like this. It's gonna turn out to be an amazing instrument. Woo! Done. Took me about an hour to flatten down this Hackberry slab and and it's so much fun. It's a beautiful day out. 
and I'm just so happy with how this turned out. Absolutely no tear out, hardly any router lines to speak of. It worked beautifully. Um, it smells really good, actually. Hackberry is something I've never used before. Uh, it has a nice sweet smell. Um, but, oh my gosh, this is why I can't do any of this type of uh, slab flattening with a router in the winter in Minnesota because it is an absolute mess. But look at that piece. It's beautiful. I can't wait to, to see how it turns out. Uh, and <laughs> look at this. My pockets are completely full of sawdust. Chicken bedding. <laughs>